In this video, you can learn how to create crystal report in Visual Studio and display it with uh, dynamical lens C# project. Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create crystal report in Visual Studio with SQL and C Sharp. First of all, install crystal report and Visual Studio software in your computer. I'll show you some steps. Follow this step and you can create crystal report. Start Visual Studio and create new project. Create a SQL view or a store procedure to make a crystal report. Add a crystal report in Solution Explorer. Design the report by drag and drop with SQL view existing. Take crystal report. Start Visual Studio. This uh, the here is my existing app. My past apps. Here is my database. My past DB. There is uh, uh, the two table product info tab and cell tab. These are the data in the table now I'm gonna create a view go to the server explorer expand the view folder there is no view uh, exist uh, now I'm gonna create, create a new view to create new view right click on the uh, view folder and add new view add the two table or what the table you choose to, uh, for uh, creating view that's all column from the product input tab and cell, uh, cell tab I, sele I have selected uh, uh, cell quantity, cell present, cell total, cell date name the uh, name the view view name is uh, cell info view click on the ok ok now view is already created see that in the view folder a view already created now resize the form now I'm gonna add a button control uh, when I click on the button the, it will display a report in the crystal report by default it's uh, uh, the start position at debugging is a default location I'm, uh, I just placed it at center screen when I debug it it will show in the center of the screen of your computer screen Go to the toolbox go to the reporting and now you see that there is no crystal report viewer there is only report viewer to display in the report the crystal report viewer you should change the target framework target framework must be target framework 4 now it's a it is target framework 4 for 4 for, uh, for client profile not client profile you should select target framework 4 if you select target framework 4 in the toolbox crystal report viewer will display in the toolbox see that in the reporting crystal report is now displaying just drag and drop the crystal report viewer in your form this is the form and uh, because crystal report is uh, mm, a bit uh, a bit uh, big then you form that's why this is the form and crystal report viewer okay <coughs> now add a crystal report I just added crystal report viewer in the form now I should design a crystal report uh, to take crystal report go to the so solution explorer and add right click add a crystal report uh, this is the crystal report you, you can use blank or whatever go to the next and uh, now you should connect uh, you should connect your database uh, there is no available uh, connected in my fast DB uh, so that's why you should make a new connection make a right click and uh, make a new connection uh, choose the Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL server next integrated security is true my database integrated security is true if integrated, your integrated security is false and you your, your user password available you can connect uh, according to your database and server name the server name is dot sql excel my um, and database name is my fast db i just select my fast db next finish okay now you can see that the my fast db is already connected 
expand the mapass db and expand the dbu and expand the view select the view and click on the right arrow okay it's added next finish now see that uh, the crystal report design displayed and field explorer also displayed if you don't get field explorer here go to the view and add the field explorer uh, default print the print date and uh, number will exist in the uh, crystal report design you can delete it and you can if you if you want you can keep it right click and add a text box text object this is the heading I just uh, display in the heading text uh, text is cell info research the text object and research the font too because heading is a bit bigger you know so 18 is sufficient and for the text is center of the of the, of the page okay uh, see that uh, there are report header page header details report footer page footer report header is is the header uh, first page header and page header is uh, each page the header will display in each page if if uh, your report has uh, four pages then each page have uh, the page header report header is the first page and uh, as like report footer and page footer now I'm going to create uh, uh, added the uh, added the column in the details details is uh, details uh, details your columns all row will display in the detail section the section 3 and I'm gonna take a line right click and uh, select on the line just uh, put and drag Dra uh, drag the mouse it will draw a line I just copy and paste the line to design the crystal report you know that in the crystal report you cannot add any table uh, like you should create table with line line control just design snap to grid snap to uh, uncheck the snap to grid because if you uh, check the snap to grid you cannot uh, move it perfectly if you uncheck snap to grid you can move it uh, with a single bit okay okay now uh, now take a line for horizontal take a horizontal line to create a create table now it's not yet uh, creating table again again I'm gonna uh, tell you that details is you statement details and details header the page header page header will display in each page in my channel in this playlist go to my playlist and in this playlist you can see the crystal reports whole tutorial like how to create crystal report how to create group and etc etc how to create summary how to create formula in the crystal report a full concept of crystal report I will include in the in my channel uh, channel playlist of the crystal report tutorial okay now I just uh, go to the click event and uh, you can uh, write your code in the load event if you write in the code in the load event then when you debug uh, the report will display if you display the report dynamically you can write your code in the close click event my crystal report uh, is a uh, name is crystal report one so crystal report one is equal to new crystal report one I just, I just call the crystal report and uh, uh, now I'm gonna connect it with the uh, SQL server mm. con equal to new SQL connection con dot connection is equal to configuration manager see that in the configuration manager displayed uh, an error so you should uh, you should uh, call a reference uh, using system dot configuration not only that only it's not uh, sufficient you should add reference in the system dot configuration go to the dot net from the menu uh, top left 
system dot configuration just click and then click ok system dot configuration okay it's added now go to the ffe config file to take that to take the connection of your database my first test property setting my first db connection still <coughs> copy and paste it to your cs file paste it just paste it okay my connection is okay now uh, I just copy paste to reducing time if I write all code the video will be longer that's why I just copy paste and uh, I didn't copy paste it uh, at a time uh, to show you perfectly the steps uh, now this is the SQL statement is SQL equal to select a star pro from your view name higher now I'm gonna create just a report that's why I don't uh, I, I, I'll not use higher higher close uh, my view is a uh, cell info view what I saw in the server explorer okay select a star from cell info view this is my SQL query or SQL statements now I'm gonna create uh, to view the report this is the code to view the report just paste data set ds equal to new data set data adapter get data adapter and i sql with connection string i just connect it, uh, the data adapter and adapter i just fill in the data adapter with my view my view name is cell info view you 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 see the you saw that cell info view just replace it with uh, cell info view Okay, sell in for view. Done. Now just debug. Okay, just click in the button and report will display. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there is a problem. Could not load file assembly. Okay, follow this. Follow the uh, follow continue. I will rectify this problem. If I erase this problem, you cannot understand how to erase this problem. How to, uh, how, what will you do when you paste in this problem? To solve this problem in the start of, you should uh, use a simple code. Use legacy v2, uh, legacy v2 runtime activation policy. Too. Okay. Now just debug. Oh, finally I got it. It's okay. It's displayed the report. Stop debugging. See that this is the crystal report and some uh, column uh, are not appeared perfectly. You should uh, you should know that when your data will be bigger than your text object, the data will not display. Hmm. Now I just change the date format from the uh, format object just right click on this and you can change the format of it uh, and you can also uh, change the uh, change the quantity or the decimal change the decimal format from the uh, in the crystal report by right click on the text object and format object in the format object you can change anything what you what you want go to the format object see that there is the um, uh, you can customize you can display display currency symbol or whatever you want you can select you can say you can uh, uh, suppress zero uh, click suppress zero you can uh, do it in the separate zero form if you select display currency symbol it will display currency symbol see that when you select display currency symbol your data first display currency symbol save and now debug okay now see that it's uh, perfectly shown uh, group tree if you want to see group tree you can uh, uh, keep or you can erase the group tree if you don't need group tree uh, in this in this report i don't use any group that's why group tree is not necessary for me that's why i hide it okay now i'm gonna create a summary just uh, right click and uh, go to the summary option and just 
select the column and insert summary select your column summary column okay now quantity summary select sum okay okay debug and how you will display the summary to summary of the quantity and price you can see the summary and price also to charge you dynamically take it to take a tag take a tag box from the toolbox to see the dynamic uh, dynamically report and take a level control to name the text box what you will put in the text box and display the report change the text in the property product id when i put product id in the text box and click on the find control that product id will display in the crystal report what i put in the text box now just uh, change the code integer id i just declared the text box as a variable uh, in a variable integer id equal to int dot first text box one dot text you, should, you know uh, to, <coughs> integer data type must convert to uh, text box in integer when you declared integer you should convert it in integer Select a step on sale and for view our product ID, our column name is product ID, product ID, the database column, view column is product ID. And uh, remember that you should use single quotation and double quotation and plus to display, uh, to, uh, uh, to put dynamic our IDs, text box one side, what I put in the text box. Okay, just put ID. I just put one find the one ID sale will display. Oh, sorry, it display in current syntax near product ID. See that what syntax I uh, error I the error occurred. Where oh, sorry, where W H E R E I forget to put where <laughs> mother this type of mistakes. Okay, now see that one I just uh, put one the one ID or how many sell. And freeze ID one name freeze sell you can see that sell quantity summary and sell total summary nice and just put two okay you can see and the report this is the crystal report and it's very easy to prepare and everything if the if ID not exist it will not display. 